Good morning. That's what it feels like. I'm still sleepy. All right. Um, what I'm going to do, or what I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm trying to upload this file, just trying to find a place where I can upload these files. Um, lightweight files, of course. Because um, what some people talked about was that the files were just too big. And yes, they are. Uh, the CXR is 128 megabytes. That's the displacement, and we had, let's see, the original files are like, let's check it, 300 megabytes for the micro displacement, 130 for the displacement, uh, and 60, 30, and 40 for the fuse, and specular, and scatter so <laughs> a lot of people understandably had uh, problems loading these files but what you can do you don't need that info you don't need that much info for example here uh, this is just 8-bit color and that's fine uh, here 8-bit normal map fine and uh, this is 8-bit micro displacement and you don't need 32-bit for that you know there's really no I haven't loaded the, the specular here and stuff but so you don't need 32-bit for those kind of file types that's just well way over the top um, Sometimes, though, you need it for the displacement. For example, uh, the original file had 32, uh, had a 32 bit uh, image. And for mountains and stuff, that's very good. Uh, and 16 bit as well. 8 bit is not going to cut it for a mountain. However, this Emily is. Um, Is, is, is. high resolution it's not a sub patch object it's basically a free sub patch uh, object so we don't need that much displacement info that's there's no reason for it so uh, what I did was I took this one and I believe I made a 16 bit 4k image and and put that into the displacement and what you'll do is you'll after having done that you'll say enable bump and set that to a set distance now as you can see I've not added any subsurface scattering or anything like that um, because that's, well, another story, another, uh, well, that's, uh, that's something you can experiment a lot with, uh, as far as trying to get the look of the render right, so I'm not really I'm not an expert on that and I don't have the time so but I just thought that you know I could at least show you um, how you can um, show you and tell you how you can uh, compress those image files and I'm looking for a place to upload this uh, stuff so if you have an idea where I could upload it cool um, This guy here, for example, uh, for by the way, is uh, just for testing. So if I turn that up, you'll see that it looks like she's been in a zombie world or something like that. Um, but it, it gives you the idea 
um, it's good for previewing the color if you wonder what's happening, where it's going. Um, the normal map, I just had uh, the normal map node and what you can do here is you can pump up the amplitude and it will start to displace well stuff um, what you can see though is that um, it, it it does not do it in this area they basically airbrush that away so you need to fix that um, but it gives you the idea uh, so for this one I haven't really tried that one uh, yeah okay so um, yeah, I'm just really compressing these image files so that you can make it load on your computer and once I find a place to upload these files then uh, I'll do that and, um, and then you can um, check it out see what you can do I have not added the texture for textures for the eyes, so I'm not going to do that. I think uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at this and upload this stuff uh, for now, at least. So that's that.